So in this video, we're discussing questions 3.15 from the prescribed textbook. Question says, a 2012 survey of 2,254 American adults indicates that 17% of cell phone owners do their browsing on their phone rather than a computer or other device. Question A then says, according to an online article, a report from a mobile research company indicates that 38% of Chinese mobile web users only access the internet through their cell phones. Conduct the hypothesis test to determine if these data provide strong evidence that the proportion of Americans who only use their cell phones to access the internet is different than that of the Chinese proportion of 38%. Okay, so let's formulate our hypothesis test. So our null hypothesis says that the percentage of Americans who use cell phones for internet browsing is equal to 38%. And our alternative hypothesis then says the percentage of Americans who use cell phones for internet browsing is not equal to 38%. So if we now do this mathematically, our null hypothesis would be the proportion is equal to 0 0.38. And for our alternative hypothesis, the proportion would not be equal to 0 0.38. Okay, so before we can proceed, we have to check whether we can apply normal distribution. And to do that, we have two tests, independence and success or failure. So when we look at independence, we first ask ourselves, is the sample random? So the question doesn't explicitly say that the sample is random, but in this case, we assume that yes, it is. So we say that the sample is random. Next, we look at the sample size, which is 2254. So, if we imagine the number of Americans that use cell phones, it will be a very big number, and therefore we can say that that is less than 10% of the population size. And because we can say that, we can say that the users are independent of each other, and because it's a random sample. And therefore the test for independence is met. Okay, so now that we've tested independence, now we look at success or failure. So if we look at our success, which is 2254 multiplied by 38%, we'll see that that gives us 857 and our failure in this case is 1 minus 0, 0,38 which is 0, 0,62 so then we say 2254 times 0, 0,62 and that gives us 1397 so both of these are greater than 10 which means that this condition is also met so therefore we can say that our p observed is approximately normal. Okay, so now we apply the test statistic z. So our z in this case is equal to our p observed minus p0 over the root of p0 times 1 minus p0 over n. Alright, so if we substitute the values, we see that this is 0 0.17 minus 0. 38 over 0 0.38 times 1 minus 0 0.38 over our 2254 and that's all square rooted and when we work that out we get minus 20. Okay so now that we've worked out our z we can say our p value equal to the probability that the absolute value of z is bigger than 20 sorry bigger than 20 and this gives us zero so our p value is very small and therefore we can reject the null hypothesis because we rejected the null hypothesis we can say that there is strong evidence that the proportion of americans who use their cell phones for internet browsing is different than the chinese proportion Question B then asks us to interpret the p-value in this context. So, let's say that there was a 38% proportion of Americans that use um, their cell phones for internet browsing. Then we can say that the probability of observing less than 17% or more than 59% um, in a sample of 2,254 would in fact be zero. Question C then says, calculate a 95% confidence interval for the proportion of Americans who access the internet on their cell phones and interpret the interval in this context. So, our confidence interval in this case is going to be our P plus minus Z times P times 1 minus P over N. So now we sub in our values. 
So it's going to be 0 0.17 plus minus our z value in this case is 1.96 because it's two sided. 96 multiplied by 0 0.17 times 1 minus 0 0.17 over our n, which is 2254. So that means our confidence interval is going to be 0 0.1545 and 0 0.1855. So basically what this means is that we are 95% sure that the proportion of Americans who use their cell phones for internet browsing is between 0 0.1545 and 0 0.1855.